My name is Maria Sibylla Maria. I've spent my time studying insects. It's the summer of 1660, and here is my family. Joanna, did you hear that Jacob Fruger is back from China? I like his stories from his business trips to the east, all those exotic lands. He always discovers something new and interesting. I still have a china plate. Do you want to invite him for a Sunday lunch? Sure, I will invite him. We, we need to discuss the new plant catalogue he brought. Kids, kids, we're going to have a guest on Sunday. Casper Mathias, have you seen Maria? She's probably trying to catch some insects. I don't understand how she can play with something so disgusting. Flies come from rotten flesh. But she draws beautifully. You guys should take her as an example. Find her and let's go home. It's time for dinner. Mum, Dad, our Uncle Jacob is here. Uncle, what have you got? Let's see it, please. Be careful, boys. Don't worry, I've got a present for everyone. Good afternoon, Jacob. We are happy to see you. Children can't wait for all your stories. First of all, I give you gifts. Four boys, wooden toys and spinning tops from India. Handheld bamboo games from China. For you some tea, spices and silk. Maria, those miniature porcelain figures, silk pockets and this little blue box is yours. What is inside? Open it. Boys, be careful. Silk is a very noble material. Therefore, the Chinese emperor issued a decree condemning the death to anyone caught smuggling silk or silk ones out of China. The guards lining the silk road execute travellers if they discover silkworms among their possessions. This box was given to me by a beggar standing by the roadside who I gave some food and money. I didn't know what I was carrying the whole way. When I found it at home, I thought it would be a nice gift for Maria. There is a silkworm inside. Duck, insects, let's go play. Thank you very much. This is the best present ever. Maria carefully took the blue box with a precious gift and went to her room to build a paper house for her new pets. I hope you liked your new home. I love it. It's very cosy here. Oh my god! What's wrong with you? Don't worry. It's normal. I'm starting to change. What? You don't know? I will be a cocoon, then an adult moth. Then I lay the eggs and a new larva hatch. That's our cycle. This is amazing. I must draw everything. See you later. Flying around. Hello, Hans. Do you want to see Maria's drawings? I would love to. Maria, you draw very nicely. And the details are perfect. You have very good talent for observation. What is this? I draw four stages of the insect life cycle. The first stage is egg, then larva, then pupa, and then the adult moth. This is very interesting. Did you know that during the pupa phase, much of the body is destroyed and rebuilt so that the adult insect looks completely different? and may well eat different foods from the larva. Maria, you are not only an excellent painter, but you are also a scientist. You should call those four stages metaphorsis. Like most kids, Maria Sibia Marian was fascinated by insects. She loved watching them and learning about them. During the time she lived, people believed insects were evil. Maria set out to prove people wrong. Thank you.